Can't join you? If you don't mind sitting with a smelly kid. What? I raffled a few feathers to Nang Jojo's granddad of surgery. And she still has a few friends here, so it is Chris. Right, well, you made the right call. Thank you. Hey, it's not easy. I've had to make similar decisions myself. You know, of course you want to save everyone, but sometimes you can't. And that does not make you a murderer. Yeah, it was tough, especially when Chris got stuck in. Yeah, but you backed yourself. You've got to keep backing yourself, OK? Thank you. <laughs> Should I tell you I'm happy you're back? <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> Get him, my darling. <laughs> 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 How's she been? Oh, absolute angel. We thought we'd take a little stroll and pop in and see you. Oh, say kia ora, Harper. Mm. Hello. Yes, you're so beautiful. Isn't she? You just make every day so great. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Harper. How are you? How's your little family? Yeah, good. Great. <laughs> in the hospital. Well, I'd be serving radiotherapy. I'd be putting my feet up at home if I was him. Instead, you're putting your feet up at the IV, I see. Don't go there, Leanne. Look, to be fair, Chris had his own health problems when he was CEO. True. But Chris always put the hospital first. And if he wasn't up to the task, he was the first to acknowledge that. Yeah, and I'm sure TK will do the same if it gets to that point. Yeah, but he's let Chris go when he needs him the most. It doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Does hey, it? TK. Hey. Sir, <clears throat> how are you feeling? Feeling well, thanks, Cherise. Has Louis said anything? I leave the poor man alone, Cherise. Oh, he's probably talking to Joe. How was the radiotherapy, if you don't mind me asking? It's fine, thanks, Leanne. And you're all good? Great. Well, you're a better mm. man than me, boss. Uh, and we should all be getting back to work. You know, Chris was very beloved around here, part of the very fabric of the place. I'm aware of that. Change comes to us all. Is that a threat? Am I next? Leanne. Yeah. Come on, back to your flowers. As well, I told that Brie Thomasell to shove her stupid show. I have the best prize right here. No, I've got the best prize. Oh. Oh, and you've both got a great future ahead of you. Yeah, damn straight. We've all got a great future, don't you reckon? It's no point giving up. No, no, stuff that stupid competition. Well, there's still a chance you could win. Ah, oh, burnt bridge. You can't be unburnt. Yeah, but it's the people who decide, not the production, right? Ooh, yeah, it's got a point. Well, I'll flick another vote your way. Come on, Leanne. No, honestly, save your pity votes. Well, we make our own futures. We're pulling out. Hey? Yeah, after the way they treated you, I want nothing to do with that stupid show. I'll take their honeymoons and spit on them. Whoa, OK. Yeah, you tell them, babe. Mm, I will. Yes, hi, Bree. It's Dizzy. Yes, I am calling to have another go. You know, your show is nothing but a disgusting, nasty exploitation of the... Right, we are. OK. Thank you, Bree. What did she say? We're in the lead, babe. Yeah, we're polling first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>